1979 was sort of the ending and therefore the deepest part of what was a financial crisis around the country. The automotive industry felt it, but Chrysler felt it worse. Citi was a member of, a, of several bank groups that were lending to Chrysler. We were asked uh, to become the lead counsel on the restructuring of the Chrysler Financial Corporation debt. And Arby Thalaker and Jonathan Jewett came in just about the 1st of April, and they closed the deal on June 30th. The Chrysler Financial deal was done, and the corporation deal was still being negotiated. The uh, closing of the parent company deal was scheduled for Monday, um, January 19th. So it would close within the Carter administration, but it was perfectly clear that, that um, it wasn't going to be allowed to go over into the Reagan administration. There are always finishing touches to put on deals like this, and they're always done at the last minute. Uh, for some reason, that just goes with the territory. So I came in on Sunday the 11th of January, and um, we were just expecting that it would be a few of us marking up some pieces of paper and nothing, you know, nothing too strenuous, but nevertheless necessary. And um, I signed in at the City Corp Center and found that three names above mine was Robert Carswell. And I said, what is he doing here? Are we renegotiating the deal now? Um, and quite frankly, panicked a little bit. So I went upstairs and um, I couldn't find him in our group. I calmed down a little bit and decided, oh, maybe I ought to go see our partner, John Hoffman, and find out if Bob was here on the Iranian hostage deal. So I walked over to John's office and said, is that why he's here? He said, yes, he is here on my deal. <laughs> and so I relaxed completely, went back to marking up pieces of paper. Um, but uh, it was a moment of a little bit of tension. It was wonderful to be able to be involved in um, uh, a very big deal for one of the major companies. The fact that it turned out quite so successfully clearly had an impact on Sherman and Sterling's reputation in the automotive industry and for that matter in the corporate reorganization group um, and among the banks.